Hello Pokemon Trainers, welcome back to another episode of iStarly TV. This is your host Scarecrow, and um, as you can see I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing another live kind of recording of my game, um, because I, I don't know, I, I wanted to do a Wi-Fi battle upload narration, but you know, since I don't have any way of recording these battles um, efficiently, I'm just going to try to do it now. So um, here's my versus recorder in game, I'm just going to load up one of my battles. And hopefully this works. So let's see, we have, we'll choose a battle here. I think these battles were long. I have this one. And then I have some three versus three. This one's against me, or me versus Dieter. This one, these two are me versus Dieter with our two in-game teams. Um, let me know if you want to see this battle, if you're interested in watching it. Like I said, it is in-game teams, so, you know, it's not anything spectacular, but, um, let's try this one right here. <clears throat> this is kind of a test video to see if this type of battle, um, narration works, or, you know, to see if this is something that's interesting to watch. <laughs> so, um, let me know if the quality of this is too bad and, and unwatchable, but anyways... So I lead off with my Smeargle, he leads off with his Ferrothorn. I'm going to go for the Sticky Web right away because I noticed that he does not have any Rapid Spinners on his team. So getting up all of my Hazards will be um, great for my team um, to sweep in the long run. And um, he hits me down, he doesn't even hit me down to my Focus Dash, but he does hit me down obviously with the Power Whip. Um, it's going to take two to take me out, but I do get up both my Sticky Web and my Stealth Rock. And that was a good play for him leading with his Ferrothorn. Just because Ferrothorn can't be put to sleep with Spore. And most oftentimes when you see a Smeargle lead, you know it's going to use Spore. So he he played that pretty well, I'd say. Um, so I go into my Chandelure here to scare out his Ferrothorn. And my Chandelure is Choice Specs Modest. Um, as you can see, it's a shiny Chandelure, which is pretty awesome. But um, obviously a Modest Choice Specs um, Overheat coming off of a Chandelure is going to hurt. And looking at his team, I figured it would pretty much kill everything he had. Um... Except maybe Gyarados, so he didn't have a good switch into that hit. But speaking of, he's going to go into his Gyarados right here. Um, that's obviously going to scare me out. He does have Intimidate, which is fine. Um, obviously because Chandelure does not use its special attacking stat. And so what I'm going to do here is just switch out into Slowbro, who's my physical wall. Max HP, max defense. I was afraid that he'd start maybe setting up a sub or going for Dragon Dance or something. But luckily for me, he doesn't do that. He actually goes for the Aqua Tail. And it does barely anything to my Slowbro, as you can see. So knowing that his Gyarados can't really do much to Slowbro at all, he's going to switch out back into his Ferrothorn. Um, I think I just went for the Scald there, just to hope to get a burn on his Gyarados. Um, let's see. Yeah, I do go for the Scald, um, catching his Ferrothorn on the switch. Obviously, I'm hoping for a burn here, and do I get it? No, I do not. So um, burn on Ferrothorn would be great. Um, something that my opponent doesn't know, though, is that I actually... Oh, maybe, maybe not. I was going to say I actually have Fire Blast on my Slowbro. Um, I know I'm running that on Showdown. I don't know if I've updated the moves on my in-game um, Slowbro yet. But um, anyways, yeah, so he's going to Power Whip as my Chandelure comes in. Once again, because this Chandelure is Choice Specs, um, he doesn't have a great switch into this. Even if he switches in his Gyarados, it, it'll probably die. Just because this uh, it's already taken one Stealth Rock switch in and it, you know, taking another one, it'll be at 50%. So, um... But he's going to make the same play here, go back into Gyarados, um, take that 25% from Stealth Rock. And you can see that he put he put the right amount of EVs into his Gyarados. Um, because it's not at completely half health, it's at a little over half health as he switched into the second Stealth Rock. So he's going to make the safe play here, um, realizing that he can't play around with my Choice Specs Chandelure. Um, he, he has to play safe. So he just goes for the Aqua Tail, and you know, obviously I predict that going to my Slowbro. Um, take barely any damage again. Um, now he's going to make a very good play though, and go into his Jolteon. And obviously Jolteon threatens my Slowbro, but I think I do just go for the Skull just to be safe. Oh no, I actually go for the Toxic on his Gyarados. Um, yeah, so poisoning Jolteon will be helpful just because, you know, getting any uh, any bit of damage on that thing will, will be great. Um, 
normally it'd be faster than my entire team, but because I got sticky sticky web up in the beginning, um, it's actually not going to be that much of a threat in terms of its speed. Um, so I'm going to go into Gorgeist here, obviously knowing I can take any electric type move. And even if he goes for the super effective Shadow Ball or super effective Hidden Power Ice, um, it's not guaranteed to do a whole lot just because Gorgeist is very, very bulky. And this is max HP and max special defense Gorgeist. So, you know, there's a very good chance I will be taking that hit very well. So I'm just going to go for the Shadow Sneak right here, um, knowing I'll outspeed him and just trying to get a good amount of damage on that Jolteon because, again, with Poison and with Stealth Rock Switch in, it's going to be dying very soon and he goes for the volt switch there which is another pretty decent play on his part because that will allow him to go into an appropriate check to my Gorgas and he does go into his Halucha which is actually um kind of threatening because you know it takes a little bit of damage from Stealth Rock not too much because it is part fighting type and it actually takes zero damage or not damage but it actually is not affected by the sticky web because obviously it is a flying type. So this is something that I might have to be cautious of. So I'm just going to go into my Slowbro here again who is my physical wall. Uh, he makes yet another great play though and just goes for the swords dance predicting that. So um, now obviously I'm hoping for the burn on this thing so that I can hinder its attacking potential but I do not get it. And he's going to be able to go for the acrobatics, and that's going to do over half to my Slowbro, who, again, is my physical wall. But luckily for me, like I said, I do carry the Psy Shock. Um, on my Showdown team, I'm running Scald. No, sorry, I'm running Fire Blast and Scald. And then, I guess, in X, I just haven't changed Psy Shock to Fire Blast yet. But Psy Shock works just fine, as you can tell. So, he goes into S Gyarados. Obviously, I did kill off the... Halucha on the last turn, and Gyarados at this point really can't do very much to to my whole team just because, um, you know, especially because I am in with my Slowbro. I thought there there would be any chance I might kill it with Scald at this point. Um, as you can see, I do not, and luckily though, I do get the burn on his Gyarados, and that's pretty much going to seal the deal. You know, Jolteon can switch in one more time, but... It's going to take Stealth Rock damage, and then after it gets off one hit, it's going to die to the poison damage. And then I believe he also has his... I think he still has his Ferrothorn left. Yeah, so he's gonna... I'm just gonna leave in my Slowbro to die to the Volt Switch at this point. Knowing that, you know, Slowbro, it served its purpose. It walled the Gyarados, it killed off the um, Halucha, and, you know, just overall did a great job. That's gonna be a double down. He is also going to lose his Jolteon. Oh, and this, yes, yeah, so this battle is really interesting. He goes into Heracross here, and <clears throat> I'm, I go into Chandelure knowing that, okay, his Heracross is going to be affected by the Sticky Web. Um, I'm running a freaking Choice Specs Chandelure, but yeah, he actually just goes for the Earthquake there, and that's going to kill my Chandelure, obviously. Um, Heracross is very, very, very powerful, and... I'm actually scared of this thing at this point because Chandelure was the one thing on my team I had that could definitely and very easily take out Heracross. So Lucario actually can't do that much damage. Lucario can actually not one hit KO Heracross. So I'm going to have to Mega Evolve and go for the Bullet Punch just to get some damage on that. And he's he doesn't kill me with Earthquake, which is very lucky lucky for me. And um, actually, I'm, I get lucky there. And I kill it off with two adaptability boosted bullet punches, but that that actually scared me because I thought I could get very well swept by that Heracross. Um, but yeah, my opponent made pretty good plays. It was a pretty solid match. Um, my team wasn't anything super spectacular, and my opponent's team wasn't anything... I mean, my opponent had a Marowak for, for crying out loud, but... Um, yeah, let, let me know what you thought of this. This was just kind of like a practice narration for a live battle. If I, if I do another one of these, I... I'll assure you that it'll be a better battle with better teams, better plays, and I'll, I'll also make sure it's better quality, but like I said, this was just kind of a test run to see if, um, if this is something that I could do regularly, and yeah, just let me know what you thought. Alright, talk to you soon.